Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. In this video, I'm super excited to share with you guys my list of the LEGO Harry Potter set ideas that I came up with for the 2024 wave. So without further ado, let's hop right into the video and see what my ideas have to offer. First up, we have the LEGO Harry Potter Tale of Beetle and the Bard. Now, I could imagine seeing a pop-up book made for this, specifically one very similar to the LEGO Ideas pop-up book that we've received a couple years ago, along with a little bit of a moment moment no pun intended and i really think it'll look amazing on display considering that beetle and the bard is an extremely iconic part of the deathly hollows and it makes sense because we've received very minimal deathly hollow sets so far Next up, I would love to see a Malfoy Manor. Now, this is like the 30th time that I've asked for a Malfoy Manor, and I'll keep on asking and asking and asking until eventually we get one in the near future. Now, I'm really, really hoping to see it in 2024, considering that we've already received Gringotts Bank and Diagon Alley. So, you know what's missing? Malfoy Manor. <laughs> but this actually brings us to the next idea on the list, which is a Nocturne Alley expansion for Diagon Alley because obviously getting Borgen and Burks in D2C mode is missing and Diagon Alley won't be complete without Nocturne Alley, if you know what I mean. Considering that we technically have like a shadow of an extension on Diagon Alley, so we might as well just continue that. Next up, I would love to see a Hagrid's motorbike D2C set. So basically a gigantic motorbike with a potentially terrifying Hagrid buildable figure. Now I'm kind of scared to suggest a buildable Hagrid because because it'll kind of look very similar to poor Chewbacca, which is like the Star Wars UCS set that no one asked for. So getting that similar type of design for Hagrid in a set like this would be absolutely terrifying. So let me know in the comments down below if you'd rather have a brick built Hagrid or just the entire bike on its own. Yeah. <laughs> Next up, I would love to see a boathouse set. Now, this is basically the place where Snape unfortunately passed away. However, the boathouse would be fantastic to get in Lego form. And in general, it'll be a pretty nice, I don't want to call it an expansion, but a standalone set to complement the Hogwarts castle combination. But I'm still kind of terrified that it'll be an additional set to combine with the larger Hogwarts castle. That'll just be way too overwhelming. So just getting it as a standalone battle set from Harry Potter would honestly be fantastic. Next up, I would love to see brick built student pets. Now, this is actually something that I thought of casually on a Monday morning. I was just sitting there and thinking, hmm, we have ourselves a brick-built Hedwig, so we might as well get a brick-built Scabbers, Crookshanks, and Neville's Toad. And that'll be a very nice way to commemorate the Golden Trio's pets and Neville, of course. Apart from that, getting the brick-built pets would be fantastic, and I think it'll be an amazing addition to the D2C Owl. So honestly, it's up for grabs if they were to make these little creatures. It'll be cooler if they could fit with the smaller Hedwig rather than the bigger Hedwig, because honestly, we got to save on money. <laughs> Next up, I would love to see the cave with Dumbledore and Harry. Now, this is like the challenge where you had those zombie-like creatures from underwater attacking Dumbledore and Harry. And this is actually based on the Half-Blood Prince. So it'll be pretty amazing to get that specific scene with Dumbledore, the goblet, his hand, like his broken hand and then harry fighting against all those little creatures in the water so that'll be pretty pretty awesome to get in lego form and an amazing opportunity to get creatures that we've never seen before next up i would love to see a hogsmeade expansion now this can actually fit very well with the current hogsmeade display that we have from i believe 2021 ish so getting that as a combination would be so so cool especially considering that it would potentially, I would imagine, include Hogshead Inn with Aberforth Dumbledore, of course, to commemorate the Deathly Hallows. And perhaps we can get a separate building from Madame Puttyfoot's Tea Shop. And I can imagine both of these buildings being separate entities on their own. However, both included in the same set for money saving purposes. That'll be pretty, pretty cool to see. Next up, I would love to see Lily and James Potter's home with baby Harry. How likely are we to see it though? Very slim to none, considering that the only scene that we get to see in Lily and James Potter's home is when they unfortunately get murdered by Voldemort, so 
It really doesn't make that much sense to get. You never know what Lego might end up cooking up for us. Maybe just like Baby Harry in his nursery, a little diorama, promotion, poly bag. I'm just throwing ideas out there at this point. Next up, I would love to see a magical creatures character pack. Now this is like a bonus idea. I would like to say this is like an additional, so I guess there's 11 ideas in this video. So getting a magical creatures character pack would essentially include a bathroom troll, so a remake of the older bathroom troll that was received so long ago. It's finally about time to get a remake of that. And perhaps two more goblins, like additional characters to include in the Gringotts bank that's about to come out. So that would be amazing to get so we can populate Gringotts and have more goblins there. And additionally, it'll be pretty, pretty awesome to get a possessed version of Batilda Backshot in minifig form. And the accessories basically would be his entire bat and perhaps some money for the goblins, considering that they are from Gringotts Bank. And lastly, perhaps for Batilda, you can get herself a Nagini. Last but not least, the final idea on my list is actually something that was rumored to come out. However, it never actually came out. It's a D2C night bus. Now, I believe that Lego Harry Potter vehicles are extremely iconic and really, really cool to see, especially on display in their full glory and the current night bus is actually kind of tiny i would have liked to see a larger night bus with enough room for characters to sit and lounge including all the little knickknacks and scary creatures just hanging out so that would have been really awesome to get in d2c form and we would also get a ginormous quantity of purple bricks now if you know anything about me you know i love the color purple the color purple is actually my absolute favorite color of all time and a d2c night bus would be a free ticket to a bunch of purple bricks so that'll be really really awesome to get and perhaps the entire night bus can be built on a slope like a sloped angle a ramp if you will considering that the night bus is never actually driving in one straight direction it is always moving around vanishing disappearing hiding between the corners and i think around it it'll be really cool to get like light posts and a mini micro scale diorama with tiny little cars scattered throughout and a road and stuff like that. That'll be very, very cool to get in Lego form. And yeah, guys, that pretty much brings a wrap to the video. Let me know in the comments down below your thoughts on my ideas for the 2024 Lego Harry Potter set wave. It'll be awesome if the theme can be like an evergreen type of thing because so far I am enjoying it to the max except for that brick-built Dobby. That was absolutely terrifying, so please don't make any more brick-built Dobbies and forget everything I said about a brick-built Hagrid because I'm beginning to realize that would be kind of terrifying. <laughs> and on that, I guess I'll open the floor to you guys to pick one of these ideas for me to build as my newest mock, my newest creation, because I do plan on getting back into the mock business and building something original in the very near future. So let me know in the comments down below what you want to see me design. And all that, I'll catch you guys in the next one. Bye for now.